Okay, so you saw me sketch this out with a pencil. Okay, um, you can erase this later on with the eraser later if you want to. But I think once I go over with this color pen, the gold pen, you probably can't see most of it. So that's fine. So, but what I wanted to explain was I'm going about this in reverse because first I need to reserve my coloring spot for this gold pen which is my integration lines because I know that if I were to saturate my paper like over here with color pencils which I will be in all these areas here you will see that or you will experience that you can't go over with this pen anymore because the color pencils are wax based so it becomes very slippery for the pen and the ink probably won't stick to the paper as well as if I did it now so it doesn't matter when I put down the integration lines as long as I have them then it will be fine so that's why I'm doing the lines now and then I'm going to explain to you uh, about the spokes how I did the spokes okay so what happens with the spoke is very simply it's like you have this circle okay now with the spokes what you do is you kind of mark out like you know the four corners of the clock 12 o'clock your three o'clock your six o'clock and your nine o'clock and then you keep marking them down with divisions you know as small as you want them to go you can go as small as you want or you can leave them this way so you can also do it like that and then what happens is you draw your lines okay like that i'm not going to draw all the lines because there's too many to draw but i'm just going to show you briefly what's happening and then after that so there's going to be another one here because i need that to show you basically what happens is and then you just kind of you have this line here and then you just join another line up join another line up like that well actually uh ignore this this is wrong okay let me start again this is wrong here basically what happened is this in between this two line okay in between this spoke here there's a space you got to draw two of them you got to join one up the other one up okay and then the same happens here all right they can meet at the same space or they can go further like this and then very soon you have the spokes now the tighter you have them i mean because this is really small so you can't really see the effects so over here you can you can see that that's kind of what I did here okay but I extended the lines out a little bit so I had like I mean how should I say this okay let me let me show you let me show you it will probably be easier basically this is what happens okay so I'm going to show you here bigger okay because this is pretty small but over here if you look at the number of spokes you can tell that this is the division i used but i have to use it bigger here so you can see so let's say this is the spoke 
So what I did here with all these lines here is, is what I did is like that, and then could split out, and then you have to round them. You have to round all of them. Okay. So this is kind of basically what happens. Okay. So this is kind of how it's being done. I can't show you here because it's too tight and you can't see it clearly. So I'm going to make it bigger here. Okay. So now I'm going to do all this on here or try to. I haven't done it in a long time.
Okay, so I'm complete with this. Now, you can see the difference right away. And hindsight, in hindsight, if you wanted a lighter back, like for this, not if you wanted, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, in hindsight, if I wanted a lighter background, I should have done a better job with the background at the beginning. But like I said, different paper, different pencils and I didn't really scrub as hard I don't know if it I don't remember how exactly I did this maybe I didn't go down really heavy I just went really lightly and it came out nicely so the difference is I didn't have to color the background here I had to here but as a result of having a darker background the sundial showed better the radiant sun showed a whole lot better okay so this came out quite a bit darker than this one so in any case oops this is upside down uh -huh. so in any case 
Okay, they each have their strengths. I think the color on here is a little bit vibrant than over here, but it could be also because that the colors have faded over time because it is a well-known fact that most purples, magenta, you know, these colors tend to fade over time and fairly quickly than the rest of the colors. That's why the blue stayed. And this is a set of colored pencils that I never test the light fastness for, so I don't really exactly know how light fast they are. But that's not a concern at this point. So it was to show you how to color this on this. So the difference here is I didn't have to color this part because it was the background that was already done. This I had to, let's say, embellish it a little bit to cover up the blotchiness for me not properly scrubbing the colors. Okay, so I don't know if, if it is because I'm not familiar with the watercolor pencils that I was using. Or maybe I should use watercolor, but then it wouldn't be the same as this because I didn't use watercolor for this. So in any case, you have the information on how to do this now. You can do it your way. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if I'm doing this again, I wouldn't have colored the background. I would have left it white or whatever the paper color is and then use my um, King's Art gel sticks to go over it because I think they did, it does a very nice job of blending. Okay, like in this picture, this part of it was the King's Art gel sticks. Okay, so can you imagine if I had, if this was on here and on here as well maybe lighter color not this intense so it would look really nice okay so in any case thank you for watching and i will talk to you again in the next video bye